Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I make inspired YouTube videos to help people, to help empower people, to help people heal, to raise their vibration and to be more inspired and have a happier, healthier life. Um, this video is about what to do when you don't know what to do. Um, I'm sure you've been through this. Some situations are very sticky, difficult, challenging. Sometimes you feel stuck in a box and you don't know what to do. This, in my opinion, in my experience, is one of the hardest things to do to deal with in life. Because you just don't know what to do. It's like you're, you're like you're stuck in a hole. So I want to share with you what I think is what I do and what I think is a very good thing to do. I found this to be one of the most best and harmonious ways to deal with very difficult situations. Okay. The first thing you need to do is you have to relax and calm down. And because that's going against trust of the universe, going against flow. It's trying to force control things. Now my lovely friend Michael, Michael Roach, a lovely man in Ireland, he's full of lovely cool one-liners that I like. And one of them is, um, you, you get what you need, not what you want. So a lot of the time we are essentially our higher consciousness is challenging ourselves for the purpose of growth and expansion, not for the purpose of playing games to be mean or to have us have a hard time. You know, there's a book called Cracked Open and that's like a shell. Often there's a hard stage of difficulty, tension, maybe even resistance and there's a hardness and we have to, we, it, it's crack, we, we, we get cracked open like a shell, like broken open, you know. So you all heard that the hardest, the, be, the best things in life are the hardest things that happened to us in the past. Personally, <laughs> and they say um, it's easy to have 20, 20 hindsight. Um, <laughs> personally, basically speaking, the best things that happened to me in life, Owen, Owen Fox, they, they sadly, in, in a way, sadly, sadly at the time, <laughs> but were great when you're through it, <laughs> they have been a lot, if not the best and close to the best things in my life. Basically, basically the best things in my life. They've been the meaning, the more meaningful things, the deeper things in my life, not just the like the the, fun, the shallow kind of shallow fun and play and games and laughter, which is all great. That's like the icing on the cake. But if you want to go into the deep heart of the cake, the heart of life and the heart of ourselves, our hearts often don't blossom and bloom and grow without hardship and challenge and adversity. So it's kind of, it's a tricky thing. It's like, it's, you know, I just made a post on Facebook there, like wisdom. Wisdom is about seeing and collecting different ideas, perspectives, sometimes like spiritual one-liners, which don't tell the full story at all. So you have to be careful of one-liners because it doesn't bring deep wisdom. And it, the wisdom is collecting it all and seeing, putting it into a rounded, clear, hearty, embodied perspective and understanding. So you see, see everything in life and the situation clearly. And as a result, dealing with the situation and participating in the situation, as you grow wiser and wiser, which is a gradual process, it becomes easier and easier and less traumatic or stressful, less hard, and even becomes sometimes, yeah, it becomes more pleasant as, as you grow deeper also into your heart and into clarity and wisdom. So, so, what the, so, so let me get back now to saying what, I, what, what you need to do and what I do. Another thing you need to do is you have to make peace with uncertainty and you have to be patient. This is a lesson in patience often. It's a lesson in trust and the lessons in patience because you have to give it time. What I'd recommend is give it time to sit, allow things to simmer, work through, allow yourself to heal and become better and clearer and lighter and a higher vibration. It isn't usually about the situation, it's usually about us. 
It really, really, really is. I swear to God that is so true and important. If you can get one thing from this video, get this. As you change, because it's all about us, the experience of the soul. As we change and grow and expand and become a higher vibration, a lighter vibration, and a vibration more of love and light, the problem or the situation dissolves. We fix it. We find a remedy, a solution, it becomes clear. That's it, simple as that. That's the breakdown, that's the fundamental. So it's a lesson in trust, it's a lesson in patience. Thirdly, it's a lesson in sometimes asking for help because I do recommend asking and looking for help, guidance, support from your loved ones, coaches, counsellors, healers, people of a, higher, of a high enough vibration or people who can support and help you. Um, it, the fourth lesson is it's absolutely a lesson in like self growth and letting go, letting go of your, your limiting and false beliefs that you're staunchly holding on to, stuck in, letting go of your stubbornness and your pride and your inability to say that you're wrong or to be humble. So you let go of those and you open up because once you let go it, it creates a space to open up. So opening up comes hand in hand with letting go. I think letting go is kind of more important even though it's hard to say which one is more important of course. Um, but I think letting go is sort of more important in, in a way of speaking. It provides the fertile ground, ground for opening up to come. Um, so you open up, you change basically in ordinary language. You become better in ordinary language. <laughs> Not essentially better because you're always awesome. Everyone's always awesome and unconditionally lovable. <laughs> And everyone is unconditionally loving, whether or not they've been able to tune into that or not. It's a different story. So that's all about your vibration, how high, how, how low, medium, high your vibration is. And that changes throughout the day this is so many times. So you need to open up to a new way, a new way of seeing, a new way of feeling from your heart. And you need to open up to receiving wisdom and knowledge and clarity. So. I actually work as a clarity coach. So I like to call myself that. I think it's a good way of describing my work. It's very good, but clear sight, clear energy, clear vibration. And I also call myself, for the purpose of communicating what I do, an empowerment coach, which is comes hand in hand in, with clarity and lightness instead of cloudiness and heaviness. Empowerment is to be empowered and have power, to feel power, to feel confident, to feel able and be able to manifest your life, your dreams, your relationships, your health, your life in all the ways. So, And your emotions too, to be able to manifest and create and generate and allow in the emotional well-being that you want to live by instead of being stressed, etc. Stressed or unhappy, to be clear and plugged in and tuned in. So they are the essentials in what to do when you don't know what to do. You need to, you need to accept it as a lesson, okay, of trusting the universe that you get what you need and not what you want. And you get what you, ne what you need in the divine timing scheme, God's scheme or the universe's timing. <laughs> it's not what you want. I want to be fixed tomorrow at 3 p.m. or I want this now, I want this now to stop. You need to change first, basically speaking, big time generally and depending on what how much resistance or pride you have well how slow you are to change or how fast you are to change so it's a, oh, it's a lesson of pride humility openness receptivity like letting go um, sometimes asking and for help guidance support um, changing your heart big time Changing your views and your opinions and your standpoints. Possibly changing arrogance. It's all of these are really, really good things. So for something to give you a kick in the ass, to encourage you to change your negative traits, to let go of these low vibrations that are pulling you down, to open you up to a much, much, much better and expanded life. Obviously you can see why the hardest things are the best things in life generally. The deeper things, not the most fun and enjoyable things, but they're the deeper things. The stuff that make life worth living in so many ways. I've gone through huge losses in my life. An absolute loss of my health. I 
fantastic health last uh, sick as a dog <laughs> I was very unwell like chronic fatigue syndrome and my legs weren't working properly and stuff like that lost had over around saved a hundred thousand euros it's hundred and ten thousand dollars now lost it all and got into some debt was depressed for years in school hated school I felt so sad lonely and insecure and depressed out of place and not myself just like like in a straight jacket it wasn't me like the way you see me now in the slightest bit and I and the way I had no friends in school even though I had lots of friends outside of school the universe dealt a hard blow like not a not a not a victim blow but an opportunity to become who I am today blow and that was very 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 tough very very also when I had the, the pleasure not the pleasure I had the the so-called opportunity um, to go know what it was like to experience going through a very sad, devastating like breakup of a relationship of my first girlfriend, and then also a very tough, very tough, challenging relationship later on in my life. So it gave me wisdom and insight of how to help other people, and it deepened me as a person. And just, during some one or two of these, like more like the latter, the the more, the more recent, like harder relationship thing, I did have to practice what I'm making in this video, and that is to have patience, to try learn and to grow myself, change my ways, and then um, To, to stop being maybe judgmental or like to, to really try and understand another person is one of my huge biggest lessons like somebody who's so hard to understand because they're so different to you in like so many ways and you to them to try and understand each other it's such a letting go you know when you go through the harder experiences in life my friends don't forget it makes all the other stuff like way easier by comparison it's so easy so much easier at least like so if something would previously had a, a hard factor of eight now it's like four or, <laughs> or three <laughs> or two <laughs> or five whatever so I think I've finished this video now um, my sincere pure intention is that it helps you in your challenging situation in life so that you see it from a different perspective and and, and as a result you get to change and blossom yourself easier and faster and de deal with your life situation whatever it is health business relationships or other stuff and so you can help transform and approach it from a different angle a different vibration a different perspective and way of seeing things and a different place in your heart that's really especially it just got a little shivers there in my hands my hand my arms because at some point in the video sometimes even now you know feel it here my leg my right leg <laughs> this is like the most important thing to me the heart and this is the most powerful thing in your life and in your relationships it's about feeling and tapping into and tuning into the heart space of love, tenderness, softness and compassion sometimes, sometimes only there's a place to act firmly like Jesus maybe toppling over tables from the the money grabbers in the temple because sometimes that's all somebody can hear at that particular time but that's a very that's generally a rare exception usually softness love heart and compassion and tenderness wins the day easy so i'll leave you with that anyway and if you're new subscribe if you've liked this video and it's been helpful please give it a like to hit the like button and um, share and leave a comment or leave your thoughts below let me know if it's helped you or at least also let me know about your like greatest blessings or hardest experiences in life it may help other people who are reading in the future and um, just to see to give some support that we can progress through life's 
traumatic and challenging experiences and come through the other end a greater, more powerful, getting the shivers again. Because <laughs> this is deep, a more deeper, wholer human being instead of a shallow type of human being, you know, who's less blossomed like the little sapling growing into the tree. And remember, every stage of growth is worthwhile, so all stages are equal, none are better. So much love and light and blessings to you and respect for your time. I'll see, talk to you soon another time, okay? If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Bye. I just spent some making video. It's okay, do you want to come in? I just can't tell you what I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I'm just saying it's ironical because I just started making a video. Oh. It's like peculiar timing, you know. Like, I don't think these things in life are, co are coincidences. They just happen too often, you know. Like, how could that happen, you know? I've been doing it for ages, planning on doing it, and then the minute I do it, you come in. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a little funny thing that just happened there. <laughs> so um, 